Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this diagonal triple stitch, which it is kind of difficult to see here in the video, but you can see these uh, almost uh, cabled stitches kind of running up diagonally across your fabric. So the stitch gives just a slight raised texture uh, to add a little bit of variety to a project. It has a smooth back and then this nicely textured front. So this is the diagonal triple stitch. Today we're going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook and a little bit of Pima cotton yarn, which is a 100% worsted weight cotton. You're also going to uh, want a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is there for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with uh, every Sunday with free crochet stitch tutorials such as this one. Also feel free to let me down, down in the comments how you would use this design in a project and of course uh, don't forget to say hello. Our stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to take our yarn and start by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of six plus three stitches. So today I'm going to start by chaining 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired sides, you're going to start with row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each chain stitch all the way across. At the end of your row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start working some of that triple stitch texture. So what we're going to do for row two is begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then work a triple into the next stitch. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. You're then going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. Now what this is going to do is it's going to cause your triple stitch to pop out on the other side which is going to give us that little bit of texture. Then work a triple stitch into the next stitch. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches. We're now going to repeat beginning back with this triple stitch. So we're going to triple into our next stitch, single crochet into the next, triple into our next stitch, then work three single crochet stitches into each of the next three stitches. Or one single crochet, sorry, into each of the next three stitches. And repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row two, when you come all the way across, you'll have one stitch remaining. You're going to work one final single crochet into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For row three and every odd number row, we're going to simply work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. 
at the end of row three, chain one, and turn your work. For row four, we're going to work some more triple stitches, and this time we want to move them one stitch over so that they go on their diagonal. So we're going to start row four by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then triple into the next. Single crochet into the next. Followed by a triple stitch into the next. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches and repeat beginning with your triple stitch. So triple, single crochet, and triple, followed by one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, ending with that single crochet stitch in your final stitch. You'll chain one, turn, and then work your return single crochet row for row five. So for row five, you're going to repeat that row three. I'm almost across here. So at the end of your row four, chain one, turn, and single crochet into each stitch. When you look at your front side of your work, you should have all your triples coming out on the front side, and they should be starting to go in that diagonal pattern. At the end of row five, chain one, and turn your work. For row six, we're going to continue working these triples on the diagonal. So we're going to start by working a single crochet into each of the first three stitches. Followed by a triple into the next. Single crochet into the next. And triple into the next. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then repeat. Triple into the next stitch, single crochet into the next, triple into your next stitch, and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row six, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and then row seven, single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row seven, chain one and turn your work. For row eight, we're going to single crochet into each of the first four stitches. and triple into your next stitch, single crochet into the next, and triple into your next. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and repeat that all the way across. Triple into your next, single crochet into your next stitch, triple into your next, and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches.
When you come across, you're going to work a final single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of your row eight, chain one, turn your work and single crochet into each stitch all the way across for row nine. For at the end of row nine, chain one, turn your work. For row 10, we're going to switch up the pattern a little bit because you'll notice that your diagonals have kind of come all the way across. So we want to start a new set of diagonals over here on our right hand side. So what we're going to do for row 10 is work a single crochet into that first stitch and then triple into the next stitch. You're then going to work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches triple into the next stitch single crochet into the next and triple into the next you're going to repeat starting with your three single crochet one single crochet in each of the next three stitches uh, repeat all the way across so three single crochets and triple, single crochet and triple, and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. When you come to your final three stitches, you're going to work a triple stitch into that next stitch followed by one single crochet into each of the final two single crochet stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and you're then going to, for row 11, single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row 11, chain one and turn your work. For row 12, we're going to single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then triple into the next. Single crochet into each of the next three stitches, triple into the next single crochet into the next and triple into the next you're then going to repeat beginning with your one single crochet into each of the next three stitches triple into the next single crochet followed by a triple and repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final two stitches you'll work a triple into that next stitch and finish off the row with a single crochet stitch in the final stitch. Chain one turn your work and with row 13 a single crochet in each stitch all the way across that brings you to the end of the repeat rows so for the rest of the pattern you're going to head back to row 2 and repeat rows 2 all the way through to 13 for as long as you would like and that should give you all of these diagonal uh, triple stripes. So that's all there is to working our diagonal triple uh, stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, again, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and say hello down in the comments. I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday 
for another free stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.